a new hunt today, new spot, never been here before. Uh, it's not starting out too good though. Um, I got attacked by ground bees on the way down. I don't know why they came after me. I guess I must have walked on their nest or something. And I got stung in the finger. So I'm not too happy about that. And then when I got down here, I realized I had lost my gloves. Probably when they attacked me and I was running. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> but anyway, I made it. And I don't have my normal digging bag. I have my light duty digging bag that I don't have extra gloves in. But look at this cool beam I just found. I just got here. I have not turned the machine on yet. Just threw everything against the bank. This is an old beam of some kind. Probably out of the bridge. You can hear a bridge up in front of me. It's probably out of the old bridge. Obviously not the one that's there now. So we're going to bebop around here and see what we can find today. I have really high hopes for this spot. I've done a bunch of research and I think there's going to be some stuff here. Another reason I brought my light digging bag because I figure if I'm not prepared we'll have really good luck. What do you think? Shall we? Things are looking up my friend. I just found my first find that could be from the war and it's a mule shoe. We'll keep it pointing up for good luck. Well I just got my second target and it's pretty neat. Do you know what that is? Some of you might. Most of you won't. This is a mainspring vise. This is what the soldiers would carry and use when they disassembled the muskets to clean them. They would clamp the mainspring in between this uh, two pieces here, one of which is missing, which may be why they threw it away or could just rot it away. But yeah, I just found that mule shoe and I found that there. Um, I'm finding nothing that isn't iron yet, so this may have been hit already. But we'll go ahead and we'll hit some of this iron while we're going along. There's a lot of fence wire too. But we're going to keep checking for this kind of stuff because I really like this kind of stuff. That's, that's neat. I just found this and I'm not sure what it is. I thought it was a button at first. One side says United States Company and the other side I cannot read. United Cypress Company. That's a little bit different. I can't read that, but uh, yeah, it's my first non ferrous target in this little stream so far. As I'm going along here, I'm noticing there's a lot of junk and like pieces of pipe and things like this, which is stuck down there. There's some slate. That's probably off an old uh, house. Hole is a nail hole. But I could look down and see what looked like a stirrup, a horse stirrup over here. Ah, right there. Can you guess what it is? I haven't picked it up yet. Right here. Goes around. Yes, look at it. Oh, that's what it is. That is a stirrup for a riding horse. Not very heavily made, so it's probably not military, but cool nonetheless. I like this little spot. Awful lot of stuff in here. Just, uh, just junky stuff though. Oh wait, I did find a bottle. I want to show that to you too. Hold on. Which I wasn't going to keep, but uh, probably still not going to keep it. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why I'm not going to keep this bottle? Well, it's clear. Because it has a passenger. There's a passenger on this bottle. Did you see it? Get ready. Here he comes. See him? Yeah, you do. That is a leech. That's a giant blood-sucking leech. And I hope there are none on my legs. I'm almost too afraid to look. Oh, there you go, little buddy. We're gonna let you go back in the water. Yes, we are. Here, yuck. All right, I'll leave the bottle there. Maybe somebody will come along and find it and be really happy and get a leech on them. Well, I just dug a hubcap down about a foot over there, but here's a neat wagon wheel or some type of cartwheel. I believe. On top to a barrel. <laughs> I don't know what the heck it is that. Poison ivy, by the way, I just realized that. I don't catch it real bad, but I do catch it. <sighs> oh well. Hopefully we'll find some good stuff soon. This is a horseshoe I saw from a distance. It means either somebody was already digging here, or maybe they were up in the field and were digging and just threw it down here. Or maybe a horse lost it here. That's a much larger one than the other uh, shoe I found. I'll go ahead and save that too. I'm going to put it on the bank here for right now and pick it up on the way back through. So I just found that horseshoe right there. And there's a plow point. Remember what they look like? 
there's one right there it looks like a giant shark's tooth this is actually the second one I found today in here see the farmer picked that out of the field and just pitched it in the water so he wouldn't get it caught up in his hay bind or maybe a trapper was using it down here or something there's lots of beaver sign on this creek I, don't, I haven't showed you any yet but everywhere I look this trail is going up where the beavers are going up pretty cool a couple more plow points here there's one right there another one there uh, I ran my machine over it and did not get a signal and just realized I was in disc 2, which is not good, so I'll put it back. Hopefully we'll have a, a little more luck with the iron coming up. don't really want plow points, but there could be other things mixed in there with them. The water's getting deeper and deeper. You can see it's up to my waist already. I suspect we're going to find a beaver dam down there. Hopefully it's not too deep. There's a place where it comes down the bank right there. Beaver. Oh, I saw one yesterday. I didn't get it on video. But as I was walking along, he came shooting up from the bank a couple feet in front of me. It was really neat. Uh, I wish I had been wearing a GoPro or something at the time. It would have, it would have been awesome. But I wasn't, so you won't see it. I'll have to have it preserved in my own memory forever. Standing here talking about the beaver and how deep it is. And then look right here. That's probably where his lodge is up in the bank. And the neat thing is, I can smell them. I can actually smell the beaver back up in there. If you've ever smelled beaver caster, you know, I used to trap beavers when I was young and has a very particular odor and I can smell it as plain as day right now. So up in that bank right there where it's dry, he's got a nest and he's sitting up there listening to me right now. That's probably his hole right there. Hopefully he won't come shooting out and scare the heck out of us. Although that would be cool if he did it right now. I guess that's not going to work, is it? All right, let's move along. Yeah, that keeps going and going, getting deeper and deeper, probably over my head down in there. Um, I'd say we go up along the bank here and try to get down a little further, but it looks like there's a lot of briars. That's multi floor rows right there. That stuff will tear you up. So, this might be it for us today. I'll try to get down a little bit further, but I don't want to go over my head in this stuff. I don't want to catch beaver fever. Beaver fever. And what that is, is Giardia, which is a gastrointestinal disease you get if you accidentally swallow an amoeba that they poop out. It uh, makes you have very, very nasty, bloody diarrhea, and you lose a lot of weight, and if you don't take medicine, you die of dehydration. This is a really fresh area where they're feeding. You can see those leaves are nice and fresh, and those sticks over there have been stripped of the bark. This is their trail, although it's not too fresh because there's a deer track. Deer used it too, but you see where he slips and slides up that up, up in there, chops trees down. In fact, that tree's down right there. Let's go up and look at it. And this is what they look like when they've been chewing on them. You can tell about how big the beaver is by how tall he stands where he cuts it. This is not a very big one. This is like a medium to small one. This was tooth marks there. It's dried out, so it's not real fresh. You can see we started eating the bark. That's what they eat to live. Chopped off these branches, drug them down in the water already. What they'll do is they'll take a lot of these branches and uh, make a big pile under water next to their den so they can feed in the winter when the ice freezes and they can't get out. There's some poo. That's deer poo, that's not beaver poo. Beavers poo in the river normally. And you see how it's all muddy in here where he goes through. Slips down the bank. I predict we'll see him before the day is out. As you probably figured out, I went ahead and continued walking. It never got much above my waist, so I was able to stay up on the bank a little bit. And this is his dam. You can tell it's a nice fresh dam. Look at the green leaves. Some of them aren't even welted yet. A lot of them are. Isn't that neat? Look, you can put a rock up on there. Remember what I found in that bloody beaver dam? One of my videos, don't you? He's got an oil bottle and a bunch of other junk in there. I love these things, aren't they neat? That was a frog. Yeah, that's a beaver dam for you. You see how it's got it dammed up? And the reason they do this is not just because they like to make dams, so that they can have a safe area to swim and feed from. That way if uh, something chases after them like a wolf, they can just jump in the water and be gone really quick. Whereas if it was shallow water like this, the wolf would just jump in the water with them and eat them. When I say wolf, I'm talking evolution here, you know, I'm not talking right now, but three, four hundred years ago, that's what would have been eating these beavers. I found another relic. Do you know what that is? Yeah, you do. That's a bayonet. That's a Civil War bayonet. Got a little bend in her, but 
I'll take it. Not much in the way of um, non-iron things in this creek, but I'll take that bayonet any day of the week. That's a good sign. I like that. That's all right. I'm going to leave that on the bank there since I don't have my good digging bag. And we'll pick it up on the way back through. Here's another beaver dam. You can notice it has a section here. And he uses this rock as part of his dam. And he has another section over there. Now this one isn't as fresh as the other one. But I don't think it's... I definitely think it's this year because it would have washed away over the winter. If it had been here and not maintained. We're going to go down about another 100 yards. And then I'm going to turn around and go back. I have found nothing since the bayonet, and that was at least an hour ago, and probably a good mile, mile and a half. And uh, I want to get home before tomorrow, <laughs> so I'm going to have to be heading out soon. But we'll give it 100 yards, and then we're done. Decided to cut through the woods to save me some time getting back, since I didn't find anything this last mile or so. There's a big old snake. You see him? This is a black snake or maybe a black racer, I'm not sure which. Almost stepped on the thing. He didn't move at all either. Hey little buddy, wanna come over here and get petted? Yeah you do. He's cute, isn't he? Okay, take off. <laughs> Amazing how they can move in that. I think it might be a black racer. Look how shiny he is. A shiny blue, almost a blue tinge to them. I don't mind snakes, but boy, they scare, scare the heck out of me when I almost step on them. Well, hunt's over. Uh, we didn't do too good, but we did find some iron. You know, we didn't get skunked, and that's always good. I did not get any leeches on me, which is a nice thing, and we didn't actually step on any snakes, which is another nice thing. So let me show you what we found. Okay, this is what we ended up with. We have one stirrup for riding a horse. Of course, this is the bayonet. Got some mule shoes. You can see they're differently shaped than a horseshoe. Those are horseshoes. And one musket mainspring vise. So, not much at all. Oh, that little doodad that, uh, I don't know what it is. Yeah, and this little thing here. The only non ferrous thing I found. Kind of weird, isn't it? Well, besides the fishing lure, believe it or not, on this little creek I found a MIPS fishing lure. Crazy. Alright, until next time.